In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a ROS2 workspace. So a ROS2 workspace will allow you to create your own custom code with ROS2. So then you will be able to compile and build this code and run it on top of the current ROS2 installation that you are using. So first, uh, we are going to go inside our home directory and what you can do is create your workspace directly there. So to create your ROS2 workspace, well, it's very simple. You are just going to create a new folder and you can name it ROS2 underscore WS. So you could name your ROS2 workspace with any name you want, but this is kind of the convention. If you just have one workspace, you can name it like this. ROS2 underscore WS. So now you have a new folder, you can go inside that folder and you are going to create a SRC folder. Okay, so ROS2 workspace and inside this workspace, a source folder. This source folder is where basically you will write all of your code. So you will create new packages and write Python code, C++ code, etc. inside that source folder. And now how to build the workspace. So to build the workspace, you are going to use Colcon. Colcon is the build tool for ROS2. And if you have just installed ROS2, well, Colcon is not installed by default. You will need to install it. So let's do that. First, sudo apt update. And then you can do sudo apt install and then python3 dash colcon dash common extension. So you can use the auto completion here and install that package. So for me, it's already installed. And once it is done, well, you have colcon ready to be used. So now to be sure, let's actually close this terminal. Let's open a new one. Let's go back to our ROS2 workspace. And so if you want to build your workspace, make sure you go to the ROS2 workspace and make sure you don't go to the source folder. Okay, this is important. And now you are going to do Colcon build. And here the build was very quick and is of course successful because we have zero packages. Now, if you do ls, you will see that we have three new folders. So the log folder will give you information about the build. Okay, if you have an error that can be interesting to check inside. And then you have build and install folder. And if you go to the install folder, you will see that you have some setup.bash script here, which should be very similar to what you have seen previously after you installed ROS2 to correctly set up your environment for ROS2. So the principle here is the same. If you want to use ROS2, first you need to source your environment for ROS2. If you want to use your ROS2 workspace here, you will also need to source this script. So now that you have sourced this script, you can use the global ROS2 installation and you can use your workspace on top of this global ROS2 installation. And well, that's pretty much it. So to recap, you create ROS2 workspace folder in your home directory or anywhere you want. And then you create a source folder inside to write your code. And when you want to build the workspace, you go to the ROS2 workspace directory and you do call con build. Then you will have three new folders created for you. And in the install folder, you have a setup.bash script to source if you want to be able to use the custom functionalities you have written. Well, if you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses to learn ROS2 step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links are in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.